good morning guys so welcome back to the channel so i am at to wake up international airport leaving for london now finally got my boarding pass and passport ready so then the security immigration everything just uh, waiting near the we don't know where is what is our boarding gate here as uh, the flight is around 3 o'clock and the right now it will be around 12:30 uh, so that is the end of uh, our icelandic trip and uh, it was pretty uh, missed trip so we already do something uh, different few things as well but we were not able to do and we did few things which we were wanted to do and we did few things which we were never expected we will do but still we did uh, so we'll be arriving in london today evening and uh, then tomorrow i'll be leaving for india so so is there is some time left in boarding uh, i was a little bit hungry so i thought okay let's eat something so i got my regular hot chocolate which is for 490 isk which is like pretty nominal for airport then what i think i got this two bananas so this is 150 isk each so i am eating a banana worth 100 or 10 120 rupees per banana okay that's how expensive is iceland uh, so boarding now so got the seat with extra leg space good seat super super windy outside you can uh, see if the uh, plane is shaking so we'll take off in few minutes to london feeling so happy i don't know i like this city of much just will uh, uh, go through the immigration collect our bags and then head to wembley again and that will be uh, end of uh, iceland trip and uh, london trip i have to leave from here tomorrow morning so still uh, tonight i have maybe you will do something maybe go watch a movie or something so that is the uh, end of uh, iceland series It's uh, time to leave London now. I'm uh, going to Heathrow Terminal Five now. From their home in Wembley Central. I'm so sad. Roll it, thoda. Roll. Cannot. Okay. Yeah, it is not coming. So maybe if I'm not sure if I have to see the tube starts around seven o'clock, and if I take a tube, I will be late. So I'm taking a cab, which I usually don't do. <laughs> so I'll take a cab and reach in Heathrow, and, 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 and yeah, they are happy. I'm leaving. <laughs> one is happy and one is sad. Not hungry. <laughs> so it will take me thirty forty minutes to reach airport. So just reached Heathrow terminal, and I came with uh, this sir. His name is Karan, and is a uh, Tamil from Sri Lanka. Yeah. Uh, we had a nice conversation of 30 minutes that i will tell you now thanks for dropping thank me thank you thank you bye take care good to see you sir thank you so what happened when i entered into the cab uh, i hear tamil songs i asked is tamil song he said yes uh, then he started speaking in tamil <laughs> then i said sorry i don't understand but yeah i know a little bit uh, i can i can guess that it's a tamil then uh, we had a conversation uh, few conversation about uh, his life in tamil nadu and uh, he came here 25 years ago about his uh, family he has uh, 
uh, twin daughters of 10 year old uh, so i'm done with check in uh, security and uh, there's no immigration while exiting uh, the uk uh, but still there's one problem i'm near the gate c57 which is supposed to be the gate from the flight will depart uh, but the problem is i don't have a seat number yes i think uh, this flight is overbooked and they have not allocated me a seat number yet and i don't have a seat number in my boarding pass uh, so flight departs at 10 o'clock and they have asked me to wait till 9 o'clock and uh, they are telling they will allocate a seat at 9 o'clock so i'm not sure what is going on here so maybe uh, check in for this flight ends one and a half hour before, before that is around 8:30 so maybe are they are waiting if till 8:30 uh, somebody uh, is not able to check in or there are like few seats empty then by 9 o'clock they will allocate me a seat and if it doesn't happen i don't know what will happen i have seriously no clue what will happen finger crossed i want to reach uh, india by tonight so that i can uh, catch my flight for bangalore from mumbai uh, this is like a first time experience for me this this thing is happening uh, uh, in india it never happened and outside also when i travel to vietnam and cambodia and i was traveling to iceland and all this all booking thing never happened with me so this is the first time first experience for me so i'm a little bit yeah kind of worried and if i didn't get a seat by 9 o'clock i don't know what they will propose maybe other flight or no clue so we'll keep you update after 9 o'clock so just before like 30 minutes before the departure i finally got a seat mm -hmm. unfortunately meter seat but yeah finally got a seat and i'm boarding for mumbai now really happy so just in case if you are denied boarding there are very strict uh, eu laws against this uh, denied boarding uh, if the distance is more than i think 3000 miles you are entitled for a compensation of uh, 600 euros if you get the next flight after 4 hours and uh, something like that I will post a link below for more details like this uh, so finally boarding and going to India so happy So custom was uh, clear, immigration was swift, everything is done, got my second boarding pass for flight to Bangalore which is around 6 o'clock in the morning, reached Bangalore around 8 o'clock and then from airport to home it will take one, one, and, a half, one and a half or something. Uh, so that is the end of this trip of uh, London, UK and Iceland. Hope you enjoyed all this video, if you have any questions just uh, mention in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to answer. If you have more, there have more questions. I will be uh, uh, making another video just for the questions. Uh, so thanks for watching. Do share, do like, and subscribe as well. I will see you in the next uh, video, which will be somewhere in the India. Uh, till then, keep traveling. Bye.